Hello everyone and welcome to the Dice Commando YouTube channel. I'm Andrew with you here as always. This is the Commando Cast, a video cast about all things Star Wars Destiny. This video and others like this one are possible thanks to viewers like you. Please show your support with a like and subscribe and be sure to hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss any new videos. If you want to get involved with the channel, consider becoming a channel member. There are many benefits to channel membership including access to our Discord, exclusive deck tech and strategy videos, and the opportunity to help create channel content. I want to sincerely thank all our channel members, as I truly couldn't do this without your support. You guys rock. Go Commando! Hello Star Wars Destiny friends, and welcome back to Dice Commando for the continuation of our Star Wars Destiny in 2021 series. Without a doubt, the Tabletop Simulator platform is the best resource available to Star Wars Destiny players across the globe with the ability to connect and play games together. Even in a post-pandemic world when we're back to rolling IRL dice, Tabletop Simulator will without a doubt continue to be a very valuable resource for the entire community. So in today's video, we're going over how to install Steam, how to install Tabletop Simulator on your system, and some basics on how to use it. Alright, so you want to know how to get Tabletop Simulator so that you can play Star Wars Destiny or many other games on it, but specifically Star Wars Destiny is what we're talking about. So what we're going to do is we are going to go to Google. We are going to search Steam Download, right? So Steam, you probably, there's a good chance as a gamer you already have this on your computer, but what we're going to do is we are going to make sure that we have Steam installed because that is the host for Tabletop Simulator. So we're going to go, right, so first thing that pops up on Steam download is Steam. I'm going to go, go to download. And we see this right here. Now, I already have it installed, but all you would do here is you would just install Steam. You guys will have to go through the various steps on your own computer. And then once that is done, we can move forward with getting Tabletop Simulator in. Alright guys, so what we are seeing now is Steam. So this is after you, of course, install it and open it up. Now you will see, of course, that I already have this stuff installed, but we're going to go through as if I didn't have it installed. And then by it, I mean Tabletop Simulator. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to Store. You are going to go to Search the Store. We're going to go Tabletop, and see it even comes up right away. So we're going to click on Tabletop Simulator. And then it's, of course, telling me that Tabletop Simulator is already in my Steam library. However, if you know it's, if you don't already have it, then you would just need to buy it, and it would add it to your library and go through the steps to install it. Everyone here can figure that out, I am sure. And then after that, what we have to do is go add the Destiny mod. All right, folks, so now we have everything downloaded, installed, but what we need to do is actually enable the Star Wars Destiny mod, the ARH mod, within Tabletop Simulator. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to, with Steam open, we'll go up to our library tab right here. So we'll click on that guy, and then go and click on Tabletop Simulator right here. We're going to go over to this tab over here, and we're going to Workshop. So go ahead and give that guy a click. And what we've done now is we've basically opened up everything that is available within Tabletop Simulator. So we're just going to start where you do search for Destiny. Now there's going to be other stuff that pops up because there's, you know, Destiny Monopoly and so on. But we scroll down here to Star Wars Destiny ARH. Now you'll notice I am already subscribed to this because that little check there, actually, if I were to check that now, I'd actually unsubscribe from it. But if I were to go over to here, right, Star Wars Destiny Tournaments, you'll see I'm not subscribed to this and there's a little green plus sign there. If you're not subscribed to this, just go click that little green plus sign and it will add it. And what will happen is the next time that you reboot Tabletop Simulator or boot up Tabletop Simulator, this will be an available mod for you to use. All 
Alright, so here we are on Tabletop Simulator. I will go ahead and mute the background music so that you don't have to compete. But that is what you'll hear and that's what you should hear because that's how TTS works. Right? So what you're seeing here now that TTS is open is let's go ahead and just go to a single player game so we can, you know, screw around and just um, try it a little bit together. Right? So we're going to go to create single player. And what's going to pop up here as soon as it gets to it is there we go, right? So in our workshop down here, right? We didn't even have to do anything, right? The first time I'm adding it, right? Because you're subscribed to it, it automatically pops up. So let's go check it out together. Again, this is the first time I'm opening this. So um, let's see what it looks like. I, I think it's gonna look mostly the same because he used the basic structure and it does, so it pops up. Uh, so you see transformation cards added, SWDB import functional, which is huge. Uh, it's announcing the release date. Awesome. So uh, I think what we still want to do is go to two player infinite. That's what you want to do to make sure their transformation cards work. Um, yeah, so here, here we are, right? So uh, before we go into the part, the next segment, which is how to actually import a deck from the DB, I want to go point out something too that's actually very, very, very important, right? So if you go to objects, saved objects, you'll see I have a ton of stuff in here right? This is all my various stuff. Now, what's important about this isn't that I have stuff in here, but this is where your stuff is going to want to live. And by your stuff, I mean your decks, your tokens, what your customs, whatever it may be, right? So it's very important that you know where this folder is. Now, on most computers, it goes to the same location, right? So it goes to, um, let's I'll actually pull it up here for you, right? So it goes to Documents, My Games, Tabletop Simulator, Saves, Saved Objects. And I will screenshot this actually while I'm doing it. So you have the full tree. Okay, so that's what I've been showing up this whole time. Thank you for bearing with me while I actually did that. Okay, so with that out of the way, knowing where it lives, right? What I have here, let's say I have, let's just grab this one, Tarful Chewy, right? So Tarful Chewy's there, and we just pull them out, and the cards live there, right? But do note, that's once we have a deck in there. So what we're going to go through next is how to build a deck on SWDB, and, or I should say, we're going to take a deck from SWDB and put it into Tabletop Simulator. All right, guys, so we are now over at swdb.com, right? The, the DB, as we call it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into, so of course, do you know that you have to do the whole, you know, log in, you may have to create an account, whatever it may be, um, so that you can actually do this under your, um, you know, under your custom stuff, right? So what I'm gonna do here for me, I'm gonna go my decks, and when it gets done loading, it's going to pull up a full list of all of my decks, right? And you can see, oh, I've only had one in progress that I didn't finish. Um, so let's go down here, right? The one we did before. Let's oh, actually, let's do different one. So let's pull up Ice Commando, Standard CM, Phasma, Imperial, Death Trooper, Retribution. And we do have to, right, we can go and create a new deck or whatever. But once we have that deck created, we just click on it like this. And once it, well, it doesn't really matter if it loads or not. But point is, we're going to go over here now to download you can go tabletop simulator right so i don't think this is going to it, it may or may not pop up on um, the browser window when i do the download so it's currently waiting for swdb but what's going to happen there we go so just download i don't know if you can see it here in the bottom well let me check you can right so down there in the very corner you can see that it told me that it did in fact download okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my downloads and right your downloads folder or wherever whatever location on right this is why i'm not doing it live is whatever location on your personal computer that your downloads go to in most cases is going to be your downloads folder you can go to your folder or wherever that file went you do have to know that right i can't i can't help you with that you're going to go take that file and you're going to drag and drop it into the folder that we talked about in the last which was saved objects right and once it's in saved objects so I, let me actually do that real quick so i go to downloads I take that I drag it onto documents my games tabletop simulator saves saved objects awesome 
right? All right, so now we've gone over to TTS. I've gone up to objects and I'm in saved objects. I'll go saved objects. And now we're just gonna go search, right? The deck we just did was Phasma. So here we go. We have Phasma Trooper Retribution. And look, there it is, Phasma Trooper. Oh, that's actually not the IDT one. Oh, well, okay. Let's try it again. Make sure we're getting the right one just so I can prove it. Oh, here we go. I just grabbed the wrong one. So many decks. There you go, Phasma, IDT, Retribution. In there as per normal, right? Super easy, easy peasy. Everyone, thank you again for joining me today. Hopefully I have successfully accomplished my goal of teaching you uh, how to get Tabletop Simulator set up and at least some basics of how to use it. Don't forget to tune in for our next video, which is basically a playthrough for the first time of someone else uh, using it. So we'll kind of, you know, basically we're just going to go through a sample game and uh, just, you know, kind of learn, learn from there. But either way, if you have any questions or any challenges getting set up, please don't hesitate to put a comment below. If I don't know the answer and I can't answer it, I will find you someone who does. So again, thanks for tuning in. If nothing else, folks, go Commando.